can find out the state space representation of a mechanical system. So let's take a problem. So our problem is, this is a mechanical system and we have to find out the state space representation for this system. So let's try to solve this problem. For obtaining the state space representation for a mechanical system, we have to find out the mathematical model of the system. So for the mathematical model, we will write the nodal equations for this system. So let us write the nodal equation for this node y1 and y2. For the first node y1, we have now at this node y1, we have the connections for this mass, this damper, and the spring k1, for this damper b2 also, and for the spring k2. So for M1, we will write the force will be M1 by double dot plus B1 Y1 dot plus K1 Y1. So this is associated with this node Y1 only. Now, this damper, it is connected between Y1 and Y2. So when we are writing the equation for the node Y1, it will be B2 Y1 dot minus Y2 dot plus for this spring K2, it will be Y1 minus Y2. So this is the nodal equation or the differential equation at the node Y1. Now for Y2, we will write, we have this mass. So we will write M2 Y double dot. This is Y1, this is Y2. M2 Y2 double dot plus K2. As K2 is connected between Y1 and Y2, so when we are writing the equation for the node Y2, it will be K2 Y2 minus Y1. And also this damper is between Y1 and Y2, so it will be B2 Y2 dot minus Y1 dot. equals to this external force u. So these are the two differential equations which are defining the system. Now we uh, for the state space representation we have to choose the state variables. So when we are given a mechanical system we will choose the position and velocity as the two state variables. So here also we will define the position and velocity as the state variables. So we have the first state variable as our first position y. Then we have our second state variable as the derivative of this position y1 dot. That is the velocity. The derivative of position will be velocity. So it will be our velocity. Then we have our third state variable as our displacement y2 or position y2. 
and fourth state variable will be the derivative or we can say the position the velocity y2 dot so this is position one this is velocity one that is at node one then this is again position and this is velocity so these are our four state variables also you can see that h2 is what x1 dot and x4 is what it is x3 dot so we have defined our state variables now we have to obtain the state space uh, representation or the state equations so state equation is what it is the derivatives of the state variables so we will obtain the equations for the derivatives of the state variables now from the two differential equations which we have obtained these two differential equations we will obtain the value of x4 dot x2 dot that is all the state variables we are going to obtain from this differential equation now let us substitute all the variables here m1 y1 double dot we have assumed that y1 dot is x2 so y1 double dot will be what x2 dot so we can write here m1 x2 dot so it is m1 x2 dot so we have this equation y1 double dot it will be if you see here y1 double dot will be x2 dot so we can write here m1 x2 dot plus we have v1 y1 dot so y1 dot is x2 plus k1 y1 y1 is again x1 plus b2 we have y1 dot so y1 dot will be x2 and y2 dot will be x4 plus k2 we have y1 minus y2 so y1 is x1 and y2 is x3 so what we have done we have uh, replaced all these variables y1 dot y2 dot y1 double dot all these by the state variables now similarly we have the second equation so here also we will replace all the variables by the state variables so we have m2 we have y2 double dot y2 double dot will be x4 dot so we will write here x4 dot plus k2 then we have y2 minus y1 so y2 is x3 minus y1 is x1 plus b2 then we have y2 dot minus y1 dot y2 dot is again x4 minus y1 dot is x2 equals to u so we have replaced the variables by the state variables now we have to obtain the state equations so we will uh, we have the equation for x1 dot x1 dot is what x2 then we have x3 dot is equals to x4 so only two state variables are left x2 dot and x4 dot so from these two equations we will obtain the value of x2 dot and x4 dot x2 dot will be we have all these variables they are going to right hand side divided by m1 so we will have minus b1 x2 upon m1 minus k1 x1 we will obtain these equations for the derivatives in terms of our state variables so we will combine the coefficient of all the state variables like x1 we have k1 upon m1 minus k2 upon m1 so it will be for x2 we have minus b1 upon m1 minus b2 upon m2 so it will be minus 
for x3 we have plus k2 upon m1 and for x4 we have minus b2 upon m1 so this equation is for our x2 dot now from this equation we will obtain x4 dot so x4 dot will be all the variables they are going to the right hand side divided by m2 so we have u minus now here also we will obtain these as the sum of x1 x2 x3 x4 and our input so x4 dot will be x1 coefficient is plus k2 upon m2 x2 coefficient is plus b2 upon m2 minus minus it will become plus so we have plus b2 upon m2 x2 then we have x3 coefficient is minus k2 upon m2 x3 and x4 coefficient is minus b2 upon m2 x4 plus u so we have four state variables and we have obtained four equations for the derivatives of the state variable first equation is this derivative of x1 dot second equation is x2 dot this is our second equation then third derivative is x3 dot and fourth we have x4 dot so we have these four equations and using these four equations we are going to obtain the state equation state equation is written as x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot and x4 dot we have four state variables x1 x2 x3 x4 plus we will have input also now for x1 dot it is equals to x2 so all the other will be zero and only x2 coefficient will be one x2 dot we have the equation as this coefficient of x1 is minus k1 upon m1 plus k2 upon m1 so we will write this at the at this place minus k1 upon m1 plus k2 upon m1 multiplied with x1 coefficient of x2 is minus b1 plus b2 upon m1 so it will be minus b1 plus b2 upon this is bracket sign upon m1 coefficient of x3 is k2 upon m1 coefficient of x4 is minus b2 upon m1 now x3 is what x3 dot is x4 so x3 dot all the coefficients will be 0 only x4 is 1 x4 dot we have this and u is also present so we will mark u all other will be 0 because only in the equation for x4 dot u is present so it where we have 1 here and we have this uh, is 1 upon m2 this is 1 upon m2 because m2 has come to this right hand side also so this is 1 upon m2 so this is our state equation having the derivatives of all the four state variables now output equation because output it is not here we have not given so we will not obtain here the we will not write the output equation here so this state equation only it will represent the state space model or state space representation of the system so whenever we are given in the question a mechanical system then we will first write the nodal equations we will obtain the mathematical model of the system and then we will choose the position and velocity as our two state variables and then uh, we will replace all the variables in the differential equation by our state variables and using those equations we will obtain the state space representation of the system so this is how we obtain the state space representation for any mechanical system so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you